A Netpix member recently mentioned how he loves trading, so much so that he spends well in excess of 12 hours a day after breaks trading or working on trading. Now we've all been there from time to time and it's especially easy for time to fly by when we become engrossed in something. And the truth is that showing this kind of dedication is a great indicator of future success in many cases. The trouble is though, that spending so much time working on trading can lead to multiple problems. It's important to realize that life isn't all about trading. And if you make it, your trading will likely suffer as a consequence. First and foremost, there's the screen issue. Now I know some say that screen time is important, but there's a very good reason why there are health warnings about spending more than a short period of time in front of a screen without a break. Your eyes do take a beating. There's another really big reason why spending so much time at your desk is not good news. It's lack of movement and sedentary lifestyle. It's a health risk. But health risks aside, there's research to suggest that exercise is extremely beneficial to your mental capabilities. So by exercising, you could actually improve your chances of success in trading. There's also a whole heap of research about the various brainwave states and how it's important to go into lower states in order to not only recharge, but also to process information from the prior day. This is a hugely important thing for traders who are trying to learn and traders who are trying to figure out the constantly unfolding story of how a market is trading from one day to the next. If you're constantly in a state of mental focus, you never really get into these lower states and your natural process for processing and recharging sleep, it's far less effective. You can, of course, augment your sleep's restorative powers through the practice of meditation. And it's no coincidence that you hear this frequently talked about in the sometimes fast-paced, high-pressured world of trading. The fact that you're much more susceptible to stress and psychological execution issues when you're not giving yourself enough time to recharge is another strong argument for incorporating meditation into your daily routine. You can find a whole host of a great free resources online just by doing a Google search. Then there's the fact that if you're working 24 seven, your horizons are pretty limited. What you think about, what you work on, who you talk to and so on are all trading centric. All of this leads to a pretty narrow frame of mind and creativity can be stifled as a result. Talking to different people, experiencing a variety of things, and finding new activities to stimulate you can help you to get that creative spark when you're focused on your work, and innovation can be a highly profitable exercise. Whatever you think of the argument so far, think of this. It's pretty obvious that we're likely to suffer in terms of productivity over the long run as the length of time spent working increases. If you're able to work at 90% capacity on average, it would take you just eight hours to complete the same amount as you would get done working 12 hours a day at 60% capacity. And that's assuming the quality of the end product is the same. By taking the time away from your work, you'll actually see a positive benefit. So this weekend, unplug from trading completely, recharge, and come back rejuvenated for the constantly morphing challenge that trading is.